everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time so I've popped into my craft space today and I'm really not sure what to do next so I'm just going to have a play with my leftover stamperia paper that I'm using for my journal so in case you've forgotten I'm using the Wonderland papers I've just realized how dry my hands are terrible um and I don't know, for some reason, on the last or second last page of my signature, I always like to have full page tucks, tuck spots. And I usually use my paper pad that I'm using at the time or my, um, sorry, the paper that I'm using on the outside of my signatures. I usually do a full page tuck spot down the inside of that last page or second last page um so i've measured up i'm thinking i will make it one and three quarters wide so i'm just oops feeling very tired this afternoon so my inspiration wasn't getting me but i really wanted to come out here and do something so and how long are you so I'm going to say eight and three sixteenths and he's hoping we get this right which way do I want it it's kind of sitting right in the middle hoping you can see sorry I should have scooched that down a little bit I think eight and three sixteenths and I do think that slipped a little bit but okay so let me see how that goes for size And I'm pretty happy with that. I usually stitch it in. I don't know what I will do in this instance, but I'm just going to cut those to size because then I will have some leftover papers. And I'm thinking... So I had this, I think, on the outside of my signature. I actually really love this as well. So I'm thinking I might use that. Now I can't remember how big I needed it. I think it was one and three quarters. So I hope you're all fabulous today. I am just a little bit, a little bit puffed. Don't know why. Didn't sleep very well last night. I, I think I need to, I think I just need to cut one way first because I will forget. Oh, I definitely like that flower, if I can get that flower in. I'm not sure you'll be able to see the whole thing, sorry. I'm going this way. So that's my scrap. So I have this little flower here. And again, oh, I really love that butterfly. I don't know which one which way to use this piece where is one and three quarters this way I do cut the butterfly off which is a little bit sad Neither here nor there, really. I might still be able to use that, even though I've cut his wing, which is a little bit sad, but... 
So I don't know, like, do I have more? Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I like this side. So one and three quarters. Hmm. I'm really loving this purple, but it's kind of in the center, I'm thinking. And that doesn't include it in my tuck spot, but it does kind of rescue it on this piece for later. So they are my scraps and they are all exactly the same because this first lot of paper that I cut, when I cut them, I cut that one differently for some reason. I don't remember why, but it ended up a different size to the others. And I think this was eight and three sixteenths. Okay. So I like this end. And I don't necessarily embellish these or alter them in any way, usually. So I'm still deciding whether I'd like to do that. Or whether I just leave them as is. That's cutting right through that flower, which is a little bit sad. So if I go this way... I think I'll do that way. Check twice, cut once, isn't that right? Yes, that's pretty. So this one, for instance, with the butterfly, I'm wondering whether I could perhaps put something across the top to... I think I just cut that wrong. No, I think that's right. Oh, that's right. Ooh. Okay, pretty. Two more to go. So I wanted the flowers. And I did really like... Side here. Okay. So I'm going to ink these partly because I want to remember which way around I'm putting them. So some of these I'm using. paper around the opposite direction to what I have used it in the past or to what the outside of my signature is compared to the inside which I do try and do that with the double-sided paper just alter the the paper so that I get the imagery from both sides sometimes I get really sad when there's only one copy of each paper because <laughs> I want both sheets I want to be able to use the whole sheet of both sides and sadly, that's not always possible. For some reason today, I've just, my mojo is not there. I'm just like, what do I want to do next? I really don't know. I did start to prep something, but then I was like, I don't really know how exactly I want to do that. So, And some projects that I need to do require me going searching for supplies. Like, I need to make some fabric flips. 
but I haven't decided which fabrics I want to use. And I was just like, oh, I don't really feel like doing that right now. I have been gifted a big stack of beautiful laces and trims and I spent some time yesterday washing those and they are so beautiful they're sitting in the room near me not too far away but I do need to organize them they're just a, I've taken them off the clothesline and I've just popped them in a pile so I need to go through and I kind of feel like I need to make more of my lace cards because some of them are quite long pieces so I'm trying to decide how I'd like to best store them. I did actually think about Gail Agostinelli's video recently where she made the fabric rings, the layering fabric rings and I thought maybe I could do something like that with my laces so... So I'm just I'm just trying to decide because I do have other beautiful laces and things and they're kind of tucked away in boxes or tubs or what have you and then I forget I have them. So I kind of need pieces to be on hand. I found just lately I've been crafting with just the things that I have close to me. Which is fine because, you know, it's all beautiful and it all all needs to be used and it, and it all looks amazing. But you do kind of forget what you have available to you. Whoops. Okay. Oh gosh, that ink just makes them beautiful, doesn't it? Just really makes them pop. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide which way around I'd like it to go. So I usually pop them in here and I do usually give myself a little bit of leeway just in case the, <laughs> I say just in case, because I like to make chunky journals, I find if I give myself a little bit of leeway there, then... If it's pinching at the join, at the spine, um, it gives it a little bit more room. So, what do I want to do? Speaking of things forgotten, I have this big bag here of... I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yes, pretty clear. Big bag of tea-stained fabrics and laces and trims and things. And I decided to bring it out and have a little play. Like I said, I don't usually do anything much with these, but I'm just not sure. Not, not sure. I do know I want to have a play with the butterfly one because I've had to cut his wing off. So I feel like if I soften him with a little piece of lace or something, it'll look like he's flying up under the lace and... Won't be quite dr so dramatic. And I just don't know if these. Oh, that's a little bit. No. What do I have? What do I have? This is quite fun. I quite like that actually. Wondering if it's the right way around. I think that's really pretty, but I don't know that it's achieving what I want it to achieve on that.
that's kind of fun I think I really like that so I'm going to trim that whoops and I'll just paper clip that and sew that on later I do have my sewing machine set up to my right but I've got my bag of laces in front of it I sound like I've lost all my bubbles, don't I? I'm trying really hard to get them back. I really did not sleep well last night. I am really tired. And I am feeling it. I'm trying to find my bubbles, guys. Okay. Oh, I think that's too much. Mm, that's kind of pretty too. I like that on that piece. And I may even be able to scooch it out a fraction. I do like that. I do, I do, I do. Oh, there's a song there. can't even get the scissors to work this is tragic okay that's really pretty these are going to be very very simple tucks guys very simple indeed but it's kind of refreshing after my last few items have been a little bit busy I guess it's had my mind very busy that's for sure so something a little more a little less complicated is actually really refreshing right now oh my gosh I really love that too oh, just a bit of fluff And I'm thinking on that one. So pretty. Okay, what else do I have? Well, I like that one. I might make it a little bit bigger so I can trim off the excess. It's very dainty but very effective. Whoops. <laughs> I just need them to stick together for now. And then I have this one. Okay. Sorry, I'd put this bag under the camera, but it's so big. Is that the same piece I had out earlier? I'm not even sure that's what I was reaching for. <laughs> Do 
do I like on that one? I don't know. I just feel like they're a bit too busy. I don't want anything that's going to take away from the paper too much because I really love the paper. See, that's similar to, whoops, similar to the other one, but a little bit smaller. And I just feel like it, it takes away Okay, so perhaps instead of using those now, perhaps I go to my crocheted laces for the last couple because I really love this, this piece here, this crocheted lace. It's very simple but very effective. And I think I like it for this with the more neutral tones. One more, one more, one more. What do I like new? They do have this very pretty. Oops. <laughs> some days are diamonds, guys, and some days. Yes, I really like that. Okay, done. And this little spool of lace, I cannot, I'm sorry to tell you where I got it from because I've had it for quite some time. I think it may have been from Spotlight, but please tell me I was in focus for all of that because, yes, I was. Thank goodness for that. Yes, I think it came from Spotlight, but it was such a long time ago. It's been in my stash for many moons. And I'm just checking the orientation of my lace. Gosh, they're pretty. I'm really happy with those. Just that simple little detail. And those little tuck spots are done for each of my signatures. I've just got to sew the laces on. Okay, that makes me happy. I really can't tell you why I like to put that tuck spot in that last page, but that's just, it's my thing. It's what I like to do, and I've been doing it since I started making the journal. So, um, am I straight? I'm all over the place today. Gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, yes, I don't know why I just started doing it that way, and I've been doing it that way ever since, so... I think it was a way of showcasing the beautiful papers without it being too complicated too. I don't want to take away too much from them. Now, I've prepped this. It is for my next paper clip. And I don't even know why I just bought it over because I wasn't going to do it in this video. But here we are. It's here now. So... Add more scraps than that. So I'd like some more of my packaging paper, and I'm thinking I would like to tear this about halfway down the paper clip as well, or halfway down. So this is just sorry, my bad. So my next paper clip, <laughs> I have this little tea stained piece of file folder and it's just been cut into like a little booklet size so I'm going to work with that and I have taken my image my small image and I've organized a back for it the same as we did with our previous one 
and I don't know why but I chose the fairy for this one because I decided that the little book was like a little book of fairy whispers so that's what I'm making a fairy whispers book Sometimes I don't know where my mind comes up with these things, but <laughs> but that's what I was thinking. It's the enclosure that I haven't decided on for this one, so I'm just not sure how I want to go about that. So whether I get started on it and then... Oh, do I want to cut it? Maybe I want to try and tear it, actually. Let's see if we can tear it. Okay, that worked well. And I may... I'm thinking of doing... So my file folder that's been tea stained seems quite delicate. It seems a little bit, um, or well, not as strong in the centre as I would like. So part of the reason I'm doing this is to hopefully reinforce it a little bit as well. So, and I'm sorry, this is, <laughs> I did say I'm all over the shop, didn't I? It's very hot here today too, which doesn't help. Um... So this is my packaging paper for anybody who's watching for the first time. And please be forgiving if you are watching for the first time. I'm so sorry if this is your first experience on my YouTube channel. Um, I promise it's not always like this. So this is my packaging paper that I've glued together. I will link a... Sorry, I will pop a... <laughs> oh, gosh. I will pop a link in the description below so that you can see how I did that. Um, I have touched on it before. So so I'm going to glue that on there. Maybe I should just stop talking and just keep crafting and that would be much safer and better for everybody because I don't know. The words just aren't coming out right. See, I'm looking for my glue book and it's, it's right next to me. Or maybe me tripping over myself is just really entertaining for everybody. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm a little bit overwhelmed at the moment, too, actually, because I feel like I've kicked so many goals with this journal. But six signatures, you guys, it's, it's an awful lot. I'm like, what have I set myself up for? Because I, was, I think I'm going to have to start crafting without you guys so I can get enough ephemera for this journal which makes me really sad but in case you hadn't noticed I had been trying to do it all on camera but and the videos are taking so long to upload at the moment so but anyway have been inking my signatures behind the scenes so I'm kind of thinking once I get that done then I can start adding my laces which I haven't done yet either to my pages and get those sorted and then I can start working out exactly where I want the ephemera to go and that might give me a bigger picture of exactly where I'm up to at the moment I'm just making things I'm just <laughs> I did actually think the other day I was like have I overdone it but I don't think I have like I said six inches it's a lot okay so that's that and then I was thinking about now So I had this little strip of, well, not so little, it's actually really long and it's sitting on my lap. Um, 
of calico and I was thinking again because it's a little bit flimsy I might pop a little strip down the center or over the spine as the case may be okay Part of the reason I've been doing these paper clips like this is that I love the desk. Uh, sorry, I love the decorative aspect of the paper clips, the altered paper clips. But I really like whatever I put into a journal to have a function apart from being decorative. So I want whatever I pop in there to have a purpose, basically. And so by doing things like this little booklet which is effectively what I'm doing it offers extra journaling space so okay I'm not going to add that yet I'm just mm, what am I yes I am I am I am I am I was trying to decide if I wanted my stitching on the outside or the inside but I think I'd like it to be on the outside okay so I'm just going to pop this on here where I'd like it to be sitting. Scooch it over a little bit more. Just trying to roughly center it. And I'm just using, well, lots of fabric glue apparently because... <laughs> That's what my, oh my goodness, this glue is driving me insane, you guys. Wow. That is crazy. Oh, and I have got ink on there, so I'm a little bit nervous that that's going to come through the fabric, which I didn't think about until now. And using my paintbrush to use up the bits that have come out so that I'm not wasting them. I think I might need to start leaving that glue upright instead of upside down. They recommend you leave them upside down, but that's that's just crazy. So I'm burnishing that down, but not too hard. I want it to adhere to the fabric, but I don't really want to push it too hard that that sorry that the ink comes through. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Do you need to... <laughs> Am I game, guys? See, now I have none. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> okay, Let's see if I can get this into the corner. Now I have glue all over myself again. There's a surprise. <laughs> this is like a rerun of yesterday. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what I didn't do was get out some tea stained papers to put in there. And I don't need them as wide. Sorry, as long. 
do need to be relatively wide. So I think this paper is very... I just don't know if I'm getting enough to use that piece. It's very fragile. Okay, so I might go this way because this has got a lovely torn edge on this side. And I want it to be a little bit less in size. Hoping this is relatively straight. That's not too bad. Okay. Just, I might just use up the rest of this piece of paper, I'm thinking. Oops. kind of feel like I'm tearing crooked, but I'm not sure, so... goodness okay so what to do with that maybe just not include it okay so let's not be so worried about how straight they are do you want to just trim that little piece there And I don't know if you noticed, but in yesterday's video, when I made the altar, oh, I think it was yesterday, when I did the altar paper clip, I didn't actually ink the inside pages. And I was trying to be really brave and not do that, but it's kind of messing with my head. So I may, <laughs> I'm kind of confessing now, I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking I may need to go in and ink those papers while you're not looking. feeling so brave by not doing it and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it ever since so I'm like maybe I feel like I've only half finished it that's my problem I don't feel like I finished it so I'm just like maybe I need to just go and ink them and be done with it so that I can be satisfied that it's done Okay, well that gives me six pages, I think, in this little book. I don't want it to be too thick because it's then too bulky. Okay, I'm going to ink them, guys. I'm really sorry, but I just... I feel the need to and like I said if I don't do it now I'm going to have to go back because I know that it will bug me hang tight This 
is like icing the cake for me. It's just, it's a necessity. I need to, I need to do it. I might be brave, but I'm not ready to walk away from the inking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to ink everything. I think if I could ink my walls, I probably would. I'm not sure hubby would be happy about that, but... Oh, and I just realized I've done this wrong because I shouldn't have put my cover paper over my paper clip until I put my paper clip down. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. And I bet it's all adhered. That's okay. We will just add another piece perhaps. We'll layer it. That's what we'll do. It'll be fine. See, I told you I wasn't quite ready. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay, so I think I will just alternate those. And I need to work out my paper clip before I go any further so can I
Okay. What to do, what to do, what to do. I burnished that on so good, guys. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might save this one and make a little separate booklet out of it. <laughs> and I just happen to have, I think that's roughly the same size. I think I'll use this one and do that again, but do it correctly. So that one's too small, so I need another strip. And I just need to make sure it will fit the paper clip on one side. So the glue stuck to my finger. Oh, and I need to ink. Sorry, see, I did that off camera and was trying to be all organised and not have to worry you with the inking. And it turns out that I have to do it anyway. I kind of really like that there's going to be a separate one of these, but not in paperclip form. So it kind of brings the two together. And I do need to ink. So I haven't inked the outside spine on this one, but I am inking the inside. Okay, so so hopefully my papers will still fit. Yes, and I don't mind that they're peeping out the edge. Perfectly okay with that. Okay. Oops, wrong piece. So this is the front. My paper clip needs to go on this side. So I need to make sure that it is covered. So I need to go that way. And I think I will take a tiny strip off this edge. and that did not go well Okay, so this is going to be a little bit trickier. What I might do is work out my paper clip placement. Hmm. It's deceiving me. So I'm thinking that's about centre for my paper clip. I need to ink. The outside of this okay. 
and I'm thinking I need to glue this piece and then add this piece on top. So he's hoping this goes okay, guys. So good coverage of glue. Oops. <laughs> and I just remembered I need to use my fabric glue and that's kind of scaring me at the moment. And I'm attaching my paper clip. So I want the big end in that side. And just lining it up with my mark on the back. And I'm turning this upside down. I have a nice fingerprint of glue on there. And so it goes that way. Okay, he's hoping this works. This kind of could go terribly wrong. Okay, so I've just kind of spread the glue out to the sides as far as possible. And might do it this way Turns out this packaging paper is actually really good to do things like this because it has a little bit of flexibility to it. So as you can see, it's showing in the groove of the paper clip straight away because it kind of molds to it. No excess glue at this stage, but that's not to say that there won't be. I am going to see if I can remove that little pencil mark. Mm, I'm not sure it's completely gone, but it's not too bad. Has it gone at all? Okay, so I'm going to turn it over I know I've got wet glue under there still because I can see it moving when I'm burnishing. But ironically, not much is actually seeping out. Well, 
which does make me kind of happy. Okay, so I'm going to just gently fold. Okay, and this is how we should have done the first one. We got there in the end, guys, okay? So... And I do need to get some more fabric. Scissors. So I've just realized that my booklet effectively, oh no, I've actually made this for the left side of the page. That's what I did. I didn't do it on purpose, but I was like, usually this is the front of my paper clip, but effectively I've made this one the back. So that's something to keep in mind if you try this. Just remember to consider where your little image will go. But if I put this on here, then it can tuck over the page on the, well, it, it will still be on the right-hand side page. You guys, it's just going to be the opposite way around. <laughs> I did say I was tired, right? Oh my goodness me. Otherwise, my book is opening backwards. Well, it kind of is, isn't it? Oh, no, that's actually right. Because, because, did you see I just got all happy about that? Because when this turns around, it's actually facing the right way, guys. Oh, my gosh. I need my baking paper. I did plan it right. I just didn't realize. I'm checking this, but I don't even know if I'm taking it in. I think that's right. So, my glue, Oops. 
I was thinking my booklet was the wrong way around, which it looks the wrong way around when it's not on the page, but when it's on the page, it's actually the right way around. Golly gosh, I'm messing with my own head. So if I take that off very gently, so that's how it looks. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. And then I'll book it that side. So all I need to do is sew my pages down the centre into our little booklet. But I am going to leave it aside for the glue to dry before I do that. But for now, I'm going to leave this under here to dry. And we will join each other again very soon, everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm back again. I just thought I would quickly show you the finished products from our video today. So this is our first tuck. And I mentioned that they would go on the, sorry, the second last page of each signature. I don't know why that's just where I like to put them. Um, so I'm, I'm showcasing them in one of the signatures for you so you can see roughly how it will look. I love the addition of the laces on these papers. It's a very simple tuck, but really pretty and really effective. So we've made six of these. I still cannot tell you why I like this tuck on this particular page on my signature. It is just something I started doing and I've been doing it ever since and I really, really love it. I think partly because I love the fact that I can have almost a full size or large journaling card to tuck into that space. These papers are just stunning. Okay, and then and then we have a little booklet. Let's put this aside for a moment. A little booklet that we made, and I have stitched in the papers. I'm hoping you can see that. It's just a little notepad. And Last but not least, so opening up to another page on our signature, we have our little notebook Fairy Whispers, sorry, our Altered Fairy Whispers Notebook. I think that's what I'm going to call it. You can see it's a little bit chunky. I'm okay with that. I'm expecting this journal to be <laughs> quite the chunky monkey, but I really love that, guys. So that's what you will see. And then hidden behind that is our little notebook where all of our little fairy whispers can go. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm so sorry it was a little bit of a mountain to climb, but I really love it. And I'm so, so happy that we got to create it together. Um, Please don't forget to like this video if you've liked what you've seen. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little notifications bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And please always, always, always feel free to leave a comment. I love to hear from you. I love to chat with you. And I look forward to seeing you soon, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye for now.